I'm Dave Mercer. And I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to The Call, a weekly sport fishing debate show where we break down hot topics in the fishing world. Panger, where are we going this week? Bass track. It should be frozen two hours before every weigh-in to build drama. Oh, oh, let me go first. Let me go for 1,000%. Uh, it's something that I've kind of screamed about for a long time. Our sport is special. And what makes it special, if you look at what happens just a few weeks ago in that arena, what made that so special was the fact that nobody knew, the fact that there is doubt. And it literally makes our sport so different than anything else. And it's the one moment that anglers actually get. Remember that feeling when Jason Christie won? People like Mike Iaconelli said, I spit my beer out. You saw everybody not think about it, not stop and say, what should I do? They literally jumped to their feet, the entire arena, because there was doubt. Without doubt, all of that goes away. I mean, if everybody knew that Jason Christie was going to win this by five ounces, and we got lucky on this one because it was that tight. But it could have been five pounds rather than five ounces. And then that magic is gone. I think it's important to shut it down, not just for the anglers, but for the fans, for the sport, for the industry, and for the anglers. As toiling and as tough as it is to sit back there and wonder what makes the winning moment so special is sitting backstage with your hands between your knees, wondering for a half hour, an hour, an hour and a half, is it enough? So I agree 1,000%. Shut down Bass Track with two hours, hours before left. you yeah. want to go back in the sport. You want to digress in the sport to where we used to have no idea what was going on on the water before live, before the photo galleries, before the blogs. You're talking like the Bassmaster Elite Series MC, Dave. You want your job to be easy to be able to build the drama in any other sport. If it's a blowout, it's a blowout. You can't manufacture the drama if it's a blowout and hide that fact. I think the beauty of what we have in this sport right now is that it is becoming closer to other mainstream sports in certain areas. And I'm going to be honest, I log on to the Major League Fishing website at the end of every day when there is a knockout because everyone knows what those weights are and I want to see how those guys are reacting. I'm giving them page views. Think about the page views that Bassmaster is getting too. Who for cares the sponsors. about page views, dude? It's the, the industry, the sport, the people that are in it, that's where the drama is. And there's drama when it's close. And when it's close, you've got guys that are jumping each other all the way to the end. And you're saying, hey, watch this live. Be invested in our product. But, oh, we're just going to stop giving you information at the most crucial point. Okay. I think, okay. I think it, it's frustrating. It frustrates me that you think that I'm literally just bringing this up because I'm the MC. This is as a fan of the sport. I would feel the exact same whether I worked for Bass or not. It, it, what's everybody talking about? What was everyone talking about the Monday after the Classic? They weren't talking about page views. They weren't talking about how many times they clicked on Bass Track. Here's the difference between fishing and other sports. When you have that moment, when you have that winning moment, you score the touchdown, you do whatever – there is a crowd around you. You get to have that winning moment. Even in golf, you're surrounded by a gallery of people watching you. When you sink the putt, it is over. You have the winning moment. If we take all doubt away, what does our sport become? We might as well become golf, where we go into the stuffy freaking clubhouse, have a scotch and smoke a pipe, and nobody watches how many that part is, of the tournament. How many times has the guy been walking up the 18th green with a six-shot lead, though? And he knows he wins. Everybody knows he win wins. It doesn't make it any less special. Just because a guy's blowing it out doesn't make it any less special. Think even you keep bringing up the classic because Christie had 13-something men and he had seven. Even if they had their exact accurate weights, it still would have been just as dramatic because it all would have been within a pound of each other. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because it was close. And, and I think that close. would lead people to go watch the way. And you can't have drama in every tournament. Sometimes you're going to have a guy who blows the thing out of the water by 20 pounds. That sport, that sport. Sometimes you're going to have a UConn women's basketball scenario happen where it's 80 to 20 in the third quarter. And I think you have to roll with that. But I don't think taking information away from the viewers and listeners who have, who have spent Thursday and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, listening and watching, investing it, and then right at the end say, and now at the most critical time, we're going to take information that we have away from you and freeze Bass Track. I, I don't think that's good to do. I think if there's drama, there's drama. If there's not, there's not. And you keep Bass Track the way it is. Totally disagree. I totally did because there's the other side of it. 
Here's the problem with Fast Track. It isn't right. And it's unofficial. And you get people that I've watched anglers be convinced, leave the water thinking they lost won a tournament or lost a tournament. And they are convinced by the media and fans by the time they get to the stage that you have won. And then they get crushed by losing that event. I just think it's so important because, yes, you're right. When somebody walks up the fairway and they've got a 10 shot lead and everybody is giving them that moment, but they get that moment in fishing. We don't get that moment. The only place that moment where a crowd erupts and you have that sporting type feel is in the arena. It's what makes our sport so special. If it was golf, it would literally be two golfers standing up there. And you get you those special feel- moments in golf where guys have to sink that putt and they're walking up and they don't know who's going to win. Or you have some guy in yeah. the clubhouse and some guy trying to catch him. But they know they won at that point. If you don't do it, it becomes like, and I'm going to get roasted for this, but MLF, have you watched somebody win an MLF event? I, I think I, I won. But I th- sometimes th- there's drama. Wait in a, sometimes there's, there's drama. I like that drama at the end. That's why I log in. Now we're talking about a totally different topic that we'll have later on in this as far as anglers knowing, but we're not saying that they know what their weights on bass track are. They still don't know what anyone else has. This is the benefit for the fans. Yeah, they do. No, they, they the anglers look at bass track when they right, get off they the water. They know that it's not a hundred percent accurate, unlike MLF, where they know it's accurate. Now I'm talking about the drama on the water with MLF. You're talking to apples and oranges here. I'm talking about bass track with bass. Yes, it's not official. It says unofficial right here at the top of the screen on it. You got some guys putting it in, some guys not putting it in. But as a whole, I don't think it's a it. I think it makes your job tougher when someone goes out and freak shows a 30-pound bag on the final day and you know that they've got a 15-pound lead. But I think as a whole, it's a progression of the sport and the more information that we can give people as far as of, of, of how the tournament is unfolding, I think the better. Hanger, why do you wrap Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, anything like that? Why do you wrap that? Why don't you just throw the teddy bear in somebody's lap and be like, Merry Christmas? Because unwrapping it makes it exciting. One thing our sport has that literally golf and everybody in fishing wishes they had is that winning moment. Think of every single moment, whether the person wins or loses. We are the original American Idol. They stand side by side. We watch one win and one lose. Why are they and the special, more though? doubt. What? Why are those moments special? Because it doesn't happen every time. I disagree. You I disagree. manufacture the special moments. Sometimes you have a blowout and yeah. you turn that into the special moment. But if you don't have a blowout, like you, should we not as a sport do everything we can well, then to ensure to that it's it a off special if you don't moment? Have a blowout? If there's not a blowout, then why would you have to shut it off? Now you're driving more attention to the weigh-in because you got six guys that are tied for the lead. And if some guy did sandbag it, Holy cow, now we've got a magical mystery guy jumping up here that we didn't expect. I totally disagree. You're, you're wrong. You're wrong on this, Panger. I will, I will argue with you forever on this because I feel like here's what's going to happen. We're going to continue to progress the sport. Continue, continue, continue. And I love it. Like, I love mm-hmm. the fact that in my lifetime, I've gone from waiting months for a magazine to come out to the fact that we see almost too much. All I'm asking for is a little bit of doubt because here's what the alternative is. It goes away. And then one day everybody's like, man, classics just not like what it used to be. It's not that special moment. I mean, it really like, just think of them winning, losing, even Jason Christie's losses. The fact that we saw him lose in front of that arena, the fact that we saw the pain drain through his body is what made everybody so happy to see him win this time around. So I am 100 percent for culling is that where I, I'm, I'm culling bass track in the last two hours shut You're it down calling it, but i'm it. keeping it i gotta end it with christy too i at think of the buzz when we knew that edwin had a 29 pound bag on grand and he was going to be a blowout win but that buzz wouldn't have been there building for that entire day as he was dunk, dunk, dunk on bass track and christy was trying to catch up it would have just been one moment instead of the entire day building up that moment for that no. reason, I don't, want to fr- I don't want to frustrate the thousands and thousands of viewers from 1 to 3.30 p.m. I think you keep the bass track on until the last cast is made. I think it benefits fantasy fishing. I think it benefits the sport. It benefits the anglers. It does make your job a little bit more difficult. It's not my job, dude. It's everybody's job. I hear you. What do you see all over social media? Pictures of a jubilate, jubilant moment. Why did I jump and Edwin Evers didn't? Because... 
I didn't know that he had that much because I don't look at it for the last few hours. Edwin Evers did know, and that's why he didn't jump. And I can guarantee you that in future, maybe not today, maybe Edwin's not talking about the classic, but in the future, I'm talking rock and chair Edwin Evers. If you say to Edwin, if you hadn't have known you won that classic, would it have been, would it have been better? And I guarantee you, he will say yes, because Jason Christie said it to me this week. The fact that I didn't know when I went through that curtain, if I had it, the first moment he thought there might be a chance was when he grabbed those fish out of the well to head to the scales. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a fair point, but I'm calling it. Fast track should not be frozen for the last two hours. I'm calling it. You're keeping it. Am I? Am I keeping it? Okay, yeah, I'm keeping the it. Your question was Bass Track should be frozen the last two hours of the final day. I'm pulling the plug next year, whether they vote for this or not. It doesn't matter what we think. Let us know what you think. Keep our call. Should Bass Track be frozen the last few hours of competition? And anglers and families, and nobody's allowed to see it because it makes it special, like a nice little bow on a Christmas gift.